The deluge from the infrastructural damage of this public school system, which once was great in this, this state and built the state, is now killing the state. And it's not only killing the state, it's killing the country. Uh, I came to LOC uh, in 2002, 2003 school year. Um, and what, what was going on here, it was just, it was crazy as far as uh, how it was ran. Um, you didn't have to be in class, you didn't have to do anything. The adults were seldom seen and the gangs ran the place. So it became one of the renowned dropout factories. Green Dot was looking to take over a school. We were looking for something else and it just kind of, uh, you know, perfect storm kind of thing. We closed it down and reopened it with separate entrances and a series of small autonomous schools with uniforms. There's no graffiti, there's that beautiful garden. It just looks more like a university setting. We started the school with some basic tenants and premises. Respect the parents, include them. Lift the bar high for their kids. We treated them like respected adults and explained why. Why do you learn the algebra? Why are you getting a college prep education even though you may not think you're going to college? Why is that important? It's the explanation and the culture of treating these kids like adults. I have a relationship with a couple of my teachers that know me on a different basis than being a student. So I don't think that would happen when it was to LA's USD because I wasn't willing to open up to a teacher. Our kids are so calloused and hardened by just being treated poorly. You have to meet the kid at their level. Wherever that level may be, if you know what I mean, you have to get to their level and, and, and get through their wall. Once they open up, they'll do anything for you. And you start seeing a transformation of each one of these students. They start standing up straight. They start looking at you in the eyes. They start believing in themselves. If you give a kid a choice, give them all the steps they need so when it gets to that time, they can make the decision to attend college or not on their own volition, not whether they have the money or not. Have the grades, have the, the skill set, and now make a choice. I need my schools in my neighborhood to look like Green Dot schools that they have those basic tenets of being small and have high expectations and be safe and, and we feel like we're part of the program and our money's spent well and the teachers are well paid. You know, and that's really the end game, is, not, is to really organize ourselves out of a job. We need to understand that we have to specialize our education for who we're dealing with. Not, not dummy it down or make it better, just attack the kids you have. And if school districts can understand that and give schools the freedom to, to do that, you're gonna see a turnaround in education quickly.